Hey there, welcome to It's Easy with Twinkle, where we tackle math topics and make them fun and easy. Today, we're talking about fractions, specifically comparing and ordering fractions with common denominators. Grab a pencil and paper because you'll get a chance to practice along the way. Let's dive in. But first, let's review what we already know about fractions. Let's break it down. A fraction represents how many parts of a whole there are. A fraction has two parts, the numerator, the top number that tells us how many parts we have, and the denominator, the bottom number that tells us how many equal parts the whole is divided into. Here we have three fourths. Three is the numerator and four is the denominator. When two fractions have the same denominator, we call them fractions with common denominators. For example, 3 eighths and 5 eighths both have a denominator of eight. First we see 3 eighths of a watermelon, and then we see 5 eighths of a watermelon. When fractions have a common denominator, the parts are the same size. And when we have a common denominator, we can easily compare and order fractions. Pretty cool, right? First, let's see how we can compare fractions with common denominators. When comparing fractions with the same denominator, all you need to do is look at the numerators. Because the denominator is the same, you're just comparing how many pieces you have. Let's check out these two chocolate bars. Each one is divided into 12 pieces, so the denominator for both is 12. Now, let's compare them. The first chocolate bar has nine pieces remaining and the second has four pieces. Which one has more chocolate? You got it, nine twelfths is greater than four twelfths because nine is larger than four. When the denominators are the same, just compare the numerators to see which fraction is bigger or smaller. Now, let's practice. Compare these fractions, three tenths and seven tenths, using less than, greater than, or equal to. The answer is 3 tenths is less than 7 tenths because 3 is smaller than 7. Since both fractions have the same denominator, you can simply compare the numerators to determine which fraction is greater and which is smaller. Easy, right? Ready for one more? Compare these fractions, 4 fifths and 2 fifths. Did you get four fifths is greater than two fifths because four is greater than two? Way to go. Next, let's order fractions from smallest to largest. Since we are working with common denominators, simply compare the numerators to determine their order. Here's an example, four eighths, one eighth, and five eighths. Start with the smallest numerator and work your way up. Give it a try. Ready? When we order them from smallest to largest, we get 1 8, 4 8, and then 5 8. Did you get it right? Amazing! Now, let's practice. Here are four pies, each with a fraction of slices shaded. 3 6, 2 6, 5 6, and 4 6. Can you order them from smallest to largest? Let's check your answer. The correct order is 2 6, 3 6, 4 6, and 5 6. Keep it up. Let's try another one. Time for a sweet challenge. Here are four trays of cookies, each with a fraction of the cookies left. 3 twelfths, 7 twelfths, 9 twelfths, and 2 twelfths. Can you order them from smallest to largest? The correct order is 2 twelfths, 3 twelfths, 7 twelfths, and 9 twelfths. Are you getting the hang of this yet? Let's try one last one. But this time, we'll skip the visuals and just look at the numbers. Ready? Here are five fractions. 12 sixteenths, 4 sixteenths, 7 sixteenths, 
14 sixteenths, and 3 sixteenths. Order them from least to greatest. The answer is 3 sixteenths, 4 sixteenths, 7 sixteenths, 12 sixteenths, then 14 sixteenths. Since the denominators are the same, we focus on the numerators. See how quick and easy that was? Great job! You've learned how to compare and order fractions with common denominators. Let's quickly go over key points to make sure everything is clear. Fractions with common denominators have the same bottom number. They are comparing the same size pieces of a whole. This makes them easier to compare because you can focus on the numerators, or the top numbers. We'll look at these steps one last time. Step 1. Check if the fractions have the same denominator. Step 2. If they do, compare the numerators. The fraction with the larger numerator is the bigger fraction. In this case, 9 is larger than 5, so 5 tenths is less than 9 tenths. Now you're ready to compare any fractions with the same denominator. Keep practicing, and soon it will be a piece of cake. Subscribe to Twinkle Teaching Resources USA for more It's Easy with Twinkle videos.